This is Ben Tracy in Los Angeles, where they rolled out the red carpet last night for the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge. It was clear that this royal pair trumps even a full house of celebrities. That's exciting. I've never met a prince or a princess before. Yeah, I don't know if I get to meet them, but that would be a bonus. They're the biggest stars in the world. I mean, you tell me who's got married in the history of Hollywood who had two billion people watching around the world. Prince William and his new wife Catherine, she doesn't like Kate, dazzled the crowd of A-list actors. His Royal Highness, the Duke of Cambridge. The event honored the British Film and TV Academy. Prince William is its president. When American and British creative talent gets together, magic happens. Let's continue the winning formula. This is Catherine's first time in the U.S., but she seemed right at home hobnobbing with the rich and famous. I don't think William and Catherine were making a beeline for any celebrities. I think the celebrities were making a beeline for William and Catherine. Royal watcher Victoria Mather finds L.A. to be an odd destination for their first visit to the States. This is either the stupidest choice in the world or it's incredibly enchantingly naive. If you could possibly do anything that was more counterpoint to being royal and respectable, you go to Hollywood. Earlier Saturday in Santa Barbara, more crowds. It's very exciting. It's a once in a lifetime opportunity. And more celebrities. Very good to have everybody here. The prince played the sport of kings, saddling up for a polo match. In the stands, his princess looked on, then rewarded him for his victory. Of course, this isn't just for show, it's for charity. The folks in the stands paid up to $4,000 to watch, and those who wanted to play with the prince, well, they had to pony up 50000 Before coming to America, the Duke and Duchess spent a week in Canada. My heart stopped a beat. I was so excited. They battled each other in a boat race. Que par la grande famille canadienne. And William publicly practiced his French, as well as his humility. It will improve as we go on. The London Telegraph's Roya Nika. Canada is much more about links with the monarchy, and California is much more about raising the profile of British industry, charities, and his own charities. This entire North American tour has been carefully choreographed, designed to put a young and pretty new face on the royal family in Britain. Later today, the Duke and Duchess visit a children's program on LA's Skid Row and a job fair for veterans. Then they head home, having accomplished their mission. Patty Harverson is the royal couple's communications director. We, we hope that it'll serve the interests of Britain abroad. It'll represent Britain, fly the flag, as it were, overseas. After all, it is a story that's hard to resist. A beautiful princess, a handsome prince. What is there not to love?